Hi there again, Miles here, head professional at East Horton. Uh, this week's video is a little bit more sensible than last, even though you're probably going to enjoy last week's better than this, but at least if I get this right, this will save you a few shots. Okay, I just wanted to do a little thing on chipping because I hadn't done it yet. Um, it's going to be very basic. It's going to be the do's and don'ts, really. Um, I think I could probably do an hour on chipping by the time you've taken in sort of chip and runs and flop shots and using the right club for the right type of shot. And there are ways of getting more check and spin as well. But I'm just going to give you the basic do's and don'ts. So let's hit some don'ts first. And they, they, people seem to fall into different categories, really. So there's the scoopers and lifters. So one thing you definitely can't do in your, in your chip shots is hinge this left wrist. So they're the scoopers. You try and flip the ball up in the air. Sometimes it'll work. Other times you'll shoot it like a rocket about two foot in the air. So I've got a little tip for you. This one is, um, this is how old this is. I got this from Peter Alice, pro celebrity golf, when he was talking about his father and his father sticking a comb up inside his watch here. So I've got a little ruler here. But as a, as a little practice way of practicing, maybe not so much for hitting the ball, but certainly a bit of back garden practice. This that obviously keeps that left wrist nice and firm. And as you come through impact, you can feel yourself trying to hit scoop and you'll stop yourself. So that's number one. I'm going to take that out for a sec. So two are the people that lean back, the lifters really. So you cannot have that weight coming back onto that right foot. Again, you'll probably skull too many. You catch the ground behind the ball and it just doesn't work. So those are the little tips to help you with that are a little bit more weight left side so once you've set yourself up for a, for a chip shot so go feet a little bit narrower than a normal shot a little bit open in the stance i like to play the ball from the middle but you can go towards the back be careful if you go towards the back of your stance because you will start to de-loft your club so i go middle of the stance hands in line with the ball so they're a little bit forward weight on that left side and then as you come through impact here, make sure your hands clear your left thigh. It's a good rule of thumb, really. You know, the decelerators, the people that stop, they'll go long in the backswing and stop down here somewhere. So you could just dump it a yard or two forward, or again, just make a really poor contact. So make sure for those ones, you're accelerating through to that point beyond that left thigh. Okay, so I like to control distance in length, length of backswing and not in speed of swing. It's a tiny bit mechanical, but you'll get the idea of sevens, eights, nines, tens. You'll, you'll get that feeling of how far to swing the club back. And we're always coming through the same amount. So if it's a little seven o'clocker, you're always gonna follow through to that same point beyond the ball. I'm just gonna move the camera now because I wanna to talk to you about landing area, which is really the key to good chipping. So let me just move the camera a sec. Okay, so part two of this little video, is all about landing area and it really is the key to becoming a good chipper because your flag is your secondary target always your first target is where you want to touch the ground so for here i mean we've put it on sort of you know a few yards on um, if it was more of a flop shot you'd obviously be much nearer the flag a chip and run maybe using a seven you could be right on the edge of the green here but i've got a little pitching wedge here and that looks about right for my eye that's roughly where we want to land the ball and that's where it's going to release out to so let's see if we can do this in one take Right, back through principles again. Weight on the left side, firm left wrist. We're gonna control distance with length of backswing, and then we're gonna ensure that we accelerate the club beyond our left thigh. So our hands will be on, so you're gonna, your hands are gonna stay ahead of the club head, and we get past our left thigh like that. That's gonna stop all the hinges and scoopers. So just set yourself up, nice light grip, concentrating on your landing area and not the flag. That was pretty good, I lipped out. <laughs> I'm gonna quit, I was gonna do two for you, but we'll stick to one. Okay, so good bit of practice for you, good par three spot to get to. Get a hula hoop, something like that, just something to fixate, you can just maybe some peg out some tees or something, and just concentrate all the time on hitting that landing zone. And then you'll start to know how each club reacts as well. So, you know, that's about right for me for a pitching wedge. If I got the sand iron out, it'd probably be two meters further ahead. Uh, you know, in the lob wedge, you could bring it up much closer to the hole. So we'll do more chipping later because there's loads more to do, but just try and follow those basic principles and hopefully you'll chip better in your next game.